welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today, I'm so excited to show you this fabulous house type behind me. This is the Stratford Lifestyle, and this is a Red Row home. And we are here to tour this property with you. So let's get straight into the stats, shall we? So it's a three bedroom, three bathroom, and all three bathrooms are en suites. Bear that in mind, that's fantastic. And then the size of the property is approximately 1,218 square feet. And anything about the pricing, because pricing does change over time, guys. It's gonna be listed using editing magic on the screen, but up-to-date information is gonna be accessible via link in the description. So let's get straight into the external tour. Looking at the house, you can see here, it's a detached version, it's a detached house type, and you've got your door, a small window, and a striking porch canopy above that's cantilevered. It's like floating, isn't it? You've got a lot of traditional details, like those vertical hung tiles. You've got two bay windows, We'll show you the views from that those windows in a moment. And you can see that gorgeous mixed brick and the red brickwork at the bottom, which forms a beautiful striking plinth. The front door is like an off greenish, grayish color. And you've got the traditional light fixture. So guys, you can see that the house has a lot of like variety in the materials. And then you've got the planting to the front and the lawn, which forms a beautiful front garden. So let me take you inside and we continue the internal tour. So come with me. Welcome home. Come inside, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Okay, let's start the tour. Right, so first impressions is what we always do here. And I wanna just start off by just saying the floor to ceiling heights are definitely taller than your standard 2.4s. So it already gives like a really nice kind of first impression. Um, I love this matting that's on the floor. So if you come in, you can see I've just kicked my boots to the side there and it just stops you bringing in dirt into the house. And you come straight off that matting onto this beautiful, beautiful tiled flooring. And I love the fact that the tiling is done in like a wood grain effect. So it gives the best of both worlds. You have that warmth of the wood, but also that durability of it being a tiled floor. So that's basically what's in this show home so far. It's going so well so far, this tour. But before we move out of the hallway, I wanna talk about this front door. So you can see a classic red row front door. You've got the glazed panel in the middle, bringing in light into this area. And then because the ceiling heights are taller than standard, the front door itself is actually very tall. And you can see it's white on the inside, but then the colored on the, it's, the color's different on the outside. So that's the hallway. Let's talk about the doors really quickly. So the doors look like this kind of cottage style, um, kind of barn style panelling, as you can see there. You've got the chrome uh, ironmongery, the handles, and you can see the architraves are done in that traditional profile, which matches with the skirting. And I love how tall the skirtings are. They're taller than your typical skirtings. So that's really good. And the hinges are white, so it's all very kind of minimal and easy on the eye. The first room I want to take you into is over here. This is our downstairs toilet. And I love the transition of the uh, into the room. The flooring continues into this space. So again, let's look beyond staging, shall we? I absolutely do love the staging, but you know, it's painted green on the top and it's tiling on the bottom. So the half height tiling that you're seeing all the way around, that's usually customizable. Uh, as in it's up to you whether you want to go half or full tile, that's usually an option. I love the fact that this is a two piece suite. So you've got the toilet there and the sink and it's not squashed at all. It's very, it's a very good size. The toilet is a very good width. And with it being so close to the front door, it's a really good position. So yeah, this is really lovely. And you've got a window there bringing in lots of natural light. So let's come back into the hallway, right? So back in the hallway, the staircase is over there. We've got a mystery door here. So this is the under stair cupboard. Um, just using every, every last bit of space underneath the stair. So that's where you can just throw in like, you know, um, your strollers, bikes, you know, it's just making the most of all that space. And it also has your consuming unit on there and your BT, that's lovely. So now coming into the first room on this floor, it's over here. This is our formal lounge with a fantastic red row 
big in the future. I've just gone straight to it because it gives us an almost 180 degree view out of the property. You can see towards the sides and the front and you can just see that beautiful landscaping that we love to see so much with these properties. Um, I love the low sill level, you know, that's one of the things we uh, property blogs absolutely love. You know, the fact that you don't have to have so much furniture. If you do have a lot of guests visiting you, this is a fantastic window seat already made. There's a radiator here. Yes, all the floors have radiators. Um, and then you've got the focal point here and the actual floor plan is rectangular. So it's very easy to create a focal point and to put furniture. I love the size and proportion you can see. You can fit two large sofas here, maybe even three in that corner, but there's a lot of flexibility. And of course you've got your pendant above. And yeah, that is the formal on. Let's go back in the hallway and continue the tour. Now I wanna show you this room. Guys, come with me. I wanna show you the open plan dining kitchen area wow so there is a dining table here which implies it's a dining kitchen but you can have it maybe like a snug so you can replace the dining table with um living room like maybe an l-shaped sofa yeah uh, but again you do have your formal lounge so you probably don't need to duplicate that but i'm just letting you know anything that's not fixed means that you can definitely customize it to how your family lives. You don't have to have a dining table if you don't, if you prefer to kind of use the breakfast bar and have this maybe be the hub where everyone sits and watches TV together. But again, you get that versatility in the space. I absolutely love so many of the features, but I just want to talk about this beautiful, almost wall to wall by folding door unit over here, leading into the garden. Uh, guys, you can see here, you've got the paving slab. I'll talk about that more in, in detail shortly, but let's look at this area. So this is the dining area. You've got a, an eight seater table. It's shown with six chairs, but obviously you, they've not put the end chairs, but it can easily fit an eight seater table here. And you still got additional space on the end with this console here. I love the artwork <laughs> and the staging. I love the vertical radiator, which is probably an upgrade as well, just bear in mind. And there is a little secret door behind there, which I will show you in a second. In fact, let me show you that now. So if you close this door, there is, yes, I love this. So this is like a laundry nook. You've got your washing machine and your dryer, and you can close them away, which means when you're in this space, you don't have that noise, um, disturbance from the machine kind of disrupting the space. So that's good to have. And you've got your dining space and then you've got your kitchen over here. So let's swap places actually. Oh, you scoot round. Okay, so we've got the breakfast bar here, shown with two seats, but easily could be three or four seats actually. I love the countertop, this beautiful, beautiful countertop. Again, usually these are customizable, so it's up to you what colors. Um, swatches and materials you want to go for, but this over sails, so it overhangs and it's supported on the sides of the, the island. And you can have four seats in there, that's lovely. And then the kitchen itself is like an L shaped kitchen and it wraps around the gorgeous island. I absolutely love the island, guys. The workshop is beautiful, the, it actually looks like it's natural stone. Um, let's go through the kitchen really methodically. I'm going to start over there actually. So on this part of the kitchen, look at this. It's like a mini pantry. So it's storage space over there. And then you've got more storage space over here, all on soft closers. It's a shaker style kitchen in an off gray color with these rose gold handles. Um, again, usually customizable. You've got the kitchen space here, the prep space. The sink is um, kind of integrated with the worktop really beautifully. I like the one and a half ball here. Again, this fantastic brand 1810, which is a great brand. And then if you notice these two taps, that's incredible. I love that. That's really unusual to see that. So you've got a tap over here and a tap over here. Most likely they do different things. This one is in Syncorator. Yes. And then this is just your regular chrome tap, uh, mixer tap for dishwashing over here. I love that. That's really cool. I wonder what this does. Hmm. Comment below if you know what that does. Okay, so that's great. That comes all the way around. And then you've got more, more mounted storage above. You just see these units are actually taller than your standard kitchen units. They're very tall. So much so you get three layers of shelving, just ample storage everywhere. You've got your wine cooler over there. 
and then you've got your splashback which is made in that same beautiful stone like marble uh, appearance um, and then you've got more storage here you've got your extractor fan by Siemens above your induction hub by Siemens and then look at that that's just fantastic beautifully done everything is bespoke and customized to this property so it fits perfectly together and then you've got your storage there and guys actually let me show you really quickly we're going to find where the dishwasher is that's this unit so yep that's fantastic always beautifully positioned by the sink so that's the kitchen and then to top it off we've got our double unit here and then our fridge yes and freezer over here beautiful and that is the kitchen space so guys the kitchen is complete and we want to talk to you about the garden. As you can see here, the fences between the different properties have been removed because this is a show home. But the garden, you get paving slabs underneath and then you get your lawn. This, with this being a show home, they showed additional planting there and the fence has a trellis on it. But you just have to imagine that when you buy this property, you're going to get the paving slabs and your lawn and then everything else is for you to put in. So that's it. Let's go upstairs and continue the tour. So now that we're on the landing, again, it's a U-shaped landing that winds all the way up. Very dramatic ceiling heights as well, I must say. So we've come up the carpeted steps. They weren't creaky at all, um, which is great to know. And now I'm going to take you to the first room, which is over here. So this is the first of the many bedrooms. You can see it's a generously proportioned double bedroom with two bedside tables, a large window facing your rear garden, and then space at the foot of the bed for like a dressing table. And again, you can opt for a TV if you are a TV watcher. But this house type has, you know, this bedroom has its own ensuite. So this is a three piece suite, a toilet, a sink by Sotini, and then a large shower with a handheld device there. Fantastic. I love it. Beautiful, and it's been shown in a fully tiled variation. You've got a chrome tower, heated tower rail there. And yeah, that is really lovely to have. Let's go back into the landing and I wanna show you this bedroom. Yes, guys. So this is another beautifully proportioned double bed. In fact, this might even be a king size bed because it's very large. We've got bedside tables either side and then you've got um, a window facing the garden as well. So that's another fantastic outlook. You've got actually in this option, the recessed uh, wardrobes actually. So that's a really good option to have. I love that, you know, that's built in so it doesn't eat into the space of the room at all. And ooh, I can't wait to show you this. So behind this door is your own ensuite. So this is another three piece suite. You've got your toilet there, your sink, large sink actually, and then a large shower. And I think this shower might even be slightly, I think it's a similar size to the other one. You've got your heated towel rail there as well. And then again, it's shown in a fully tiled variation. That's fantastic. So let's come back out and then into our bedroom space. And let's go back into the landing. Behind this mystery door is like a linen cupboard slash hot water cylinder store. And this is where the boiler lives. You're always wondering, where does the boiler live? And then this is your, what we've all been waiting for. This is the prime room suite. So beautifully staged, of course, so indulgent and so luxurious. You've got a large bed, king size at the very, very, very least. Two bedside tables and then a whole wall of sliding wardrobes and the depth of the wardrobe is really good but sometimes you do get those properties where they boast having the storage but it's not very practical this is a very deep 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 wardrobe i love that so that's that at the foot of the bed we've definitely got over a meter space which allows us to create this you know there's a dresser there and then you just imagine the tv could go on that wall if you're a tv watcher you know at night time that's great and then you've got your own kind of mini version of that gorgeous bay window we saw downstairs. So you've got the bay window again with the 180 degree views, left, right and forwards. You can just see how beautiful the development looks from here. I love that. And let's go into your own like spa ensuite. A large shower on my right with a rainfall fixture. Yes, guys, so super indulgent. And then you've got your bathtub over here with a 
heat a towel rail right next to it, which is such a good position. And then equally, if you come out of a shower, you can easily reach for the towel there. So that's really well positioned. You've got your mixer tap by Satini, the sink and the toilet also by Satini. And it's a floating vanity, I should have mentioned in the previous bathrooms, easy to clean underneath. Everything is fully tiled. You've got your shaver socket next to the sink, which is great for like, you know, your toothbrushes and then a window bringing in lots of light and natural ventilation. I love the swatch, the colours, I was going to say the swatches, the colours, the materials have gone with like a really kind of modern, natural stone, dark grey. I love everything and that's great. So yes, so with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, we're coming to the end of the tour. Thank you so much for watching it with us. Did you see something that we miss if so leave it in the comments what did you think of this house type let us know but click on one of the videos that's going to pop up any moment now to watch another beautiful red row house tour by property blogs all right i'll see you in a second click just click guys just give it a go click bye